Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video, we are going to see the basics of derivative. We know what are derivatives from our 12th standard. So in this video, we are just going to revise the formulas. So to start with, we have to find the derivative of x raised to n. What is the derivative of x raised to n? We know that n is some constant. So we multiply constant n with x raised to n minus 1. So this is the derivative of x raised to n. Let's say we have to find the derivative of x raised to cube. In this case, the value of n is 3. So 3 into x raised to 3 minus 1 is nothing but 3x square. So this is the derivative of x raised to 3. Similarly, we have derivative of 1 upon x raised to n. And we can modify this as d by dx of x raised to, here it is plus n, when it goes in the numerator, it will become x raised to minus n. So as you can see, in this case, the constant is minus n. So we multiply by constant and we subtract 1 from here. We will follow this same formula. So we will subtract 1 from the power of x minus n minus 1. We can modify this equation as minus n. If I take this negative sign outside, I will get minus of n plus 1. Negative sign indicates that it should be in the denominator. So minus n upon x raised to n plus 1. So this is the derivative of 1 upon x raised to n. Let's take an example. So derivative of 1 upon x cube is nothing but, remember this, whenever x is in the denominator, we will have a minus negative derivative. And above, we will write the power of x, that is 3. In this case, the power is 3. And x raised to 3 plus 1 that is 4. So this will be the derivative of 1 upon x cube. What is derivative of e raised to x? This is one of the simplest derivative formula you will ever come across. Derivative of e raised to x is nothing but e raised to x. Okay. So the next thing is derivative of a raised to x. What is a raised to x? a is constant. So derivative of a raised to x is nothing but a raised to x. The same term multiplied by log of constant that is a let's take an example derivative of 3 raised to x is nothing but 3 raised to x log of 3 you have to remember this and we have derived this in our 11 12th class so derivation is not needed so what is derivative of log x the derivative of log x is also very simple it is simply 1 upon x what is derivative of sin x derivative of sin x is cos x is it minus cos x no it is not minus cos x derivative of sin x is only cos x where to put minus sign and where not to put minus sign there is one shortcut trick which i will teach you in derivative remember whenever you see any term starting with co that is cos cosecant then their derivative will be negative okay since we are taking derivative of sine, so it should be positive. Let's take the derivative of cos x. So cos x start with co. So derivative of cos x will be something negative. So the derivative of cos x is minus sin x. So in derivative, whenever a term start with co, that is cos or cosecants, their derivatives are negative. Remember this. This is very important shortcut things which makes our analysis very simple. What is derivative of e raised to x? We just saw the derivative of e raised to x is nothing but e raised to x. So derivative of e raised to ax is also e raised to ax. But here we used to have constant equal to 1. But here we have constant equal to some value. So in that case, we will multiply that value here. If we take an example, d by dx of e raised to 3x is nothing but e raised to 3x into 3. That is, if we take the derivative of 3x is nothing but 3. Derivative of 3x is 3. So similarly, if we take the derivative of e raised to 3x, first we have to take the derivative of this term. Then we have to take the derivative of this term. So that's why we get 3. So this is the basics of derivatives. More such basics we will see in our next video. So stay tuned for our future lectures.